Hey everyone, this is Shira from Anima. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to add links to your Anima project using Figma. In Figma, each frame represents a screen that can be connected in different ways. Anima supports Figma's internal links and external links. First, let's take a look at internal links, which are interactions that lead you to another frame inside your Figma design. To use Figma's links, we need to be in the prototype mode. Let's start with a basic click trigger to bring us from our home page to the classes screen. Simply select the element you want to trigger the link and drag the blue line to the destination frame. Then select click from the interaction details and choose navigate to. Under animation, you can choose instant, dissolve, or smart animate. If you want users to go back to the previous screen, no matter where they came from, select back under interaction details. Now let's preview the interaction we set. When we click on the folder, I'm sent to my classes page. If you want users to click on an element and then scroll to a different spot on the frame, you can add this with Figma's scroll to interaction. This can be great for landing pages because it allows you to direct your visitors straight to a specific section of the page without them having to scroll there manually. In this case, we want to allow users to jump back to the top of the class page without having to scroll there. To create this link, select the element you want to trigger the link and drag the blue prototype line to the desired destination on the frame. This will automatically set a scroll to link in Figma. Now, when we preview this frame, we can see that clicking here will bring me back to the top of my frame. To open an overlay with this drop down menu, simply drag the blue prototype link from the trigger element to the desired overlay. In the interaction settings, choose Click and Open Overlay. Then, choose where on your frame you want the overlay to display. In this case, we'll choose top right. Now let's preview it. Clicking on the icon opens my menu, and clicking off will close it. Anima also supports Figma's external links, which are links that will take you to an external page, like an email or social media page. To set this, let's make sure we're in prototype mode in Figma, and then select the desired trigger element. Then, let's click plus next to interactions, and inside interaction details, we'll select on click and open link. Here you can paste the URL of your desired destination. Now, when we click on this element, we'll be redirected to our external page. That's all for links and interactions with Figma. Check out our other videos to learn more about hover effects, entrance animations, and other awesome features Anima offers. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.